New tonight, the Smyrna community is mourning the loss of beloved softball coach Zach Boucher. He died unexpectedly after falling and hitting his head over the weekend. News 2's Nikki McGee has more on how he's now being honored. Nikki. Well, Haley, Coach Zach and his wife Jordan just welcomed their fifth child two weeks ago. He got into softball three years ago, wanting to help coach his daughters. Two of them were scheduled to play tonight, and the league tells me despite them just losing their dad, they both plan to play this evening. Close friends are remembering softball coach Zach Bocher as a family man who always worked to encourage others, even going to surrounding dugouts to motivate players on other teams. He's always pulling the girls aside, telling them, you know, just to get their all in life. Not even, you know, just not even talking about softball, just regular life at school. His wife, Jordan, tells News 2 Zach had been dizzy while walking into a convenience store over the weekend, fell and hit his head. He was airlifted to St. Thomas West, where he passed away Monday and immediately donated his organs. One of his many acts of kindness. Our last tournament, Lily and Maddie were together at um, a couple of the girls had issues with their helmets and he took the shoelaces from his shoes and <laughs> rigged their helmets so that they would work for the tournament. And he literally walked around all day with no laces in his oh. shoes. Parents from the team also recall Zach recently organizing a travel ball tournament for an 11 year old teammate who had lost her mom with all the proceeds going to that player. Zach kind of came in and assured her that she was loved and had a community and a family uh, within all of us. And so that was that was big. Zach grew up locally attending middle college high school. He also produced inspirational music under the name King, which stands for knowledge inspiring new greatness. I don't think that he would want to be put in the box of a Christian rapper. I mean, you know, he was just he was an artist. Um, who was a Christian, you know, who loved Christ. Those closest to him know his message will live on through his music. And I think that the inspiration that people got from him meeting him face to face, they'll get it through his music as well. Now, tomorrow night, the Fast Pitch League is hosting a candlelit vigil for Coach Zach that will take place at 8 p.m. at Lee Victory Park. A GoFundMe has also been set up for his family, and you'll be able to find a link to that on our website shortly at WKRN.com. Haley.